Put me back in the moment where you've knocked sixes out of the park at Forest and Trabzon's offered to you. What's the, what goes through your mind? Why did you accept? Was there a degree of trepidation? Because it isn't just abroad. Mm -hmm. It's a markedly different culture with a language that you're probably not going to be able to get hold of, even if you'd stayed there you know, eight years, never mind eight months. Oh, I suspect that, anyway. It's the meeting of Asia and Europe. It's, it's a very different... So take us back to the moment. Your thought process was a trepidation. Why did you go, yeah, Trab's on, baby. That, that's the dream. Well, it didn't quite work out like that, <laughs> Graham. I've got to say, it didn't quite work out like that. I mean, we just got promoted for not enough forest. Dave Bassett had offered me a new contract. We'd agreed. And he said, right, the contract's going to be ready Tuesday or Wednesday in the week. I go in Tuesday, contract's not ready, Graham. I go in Wednesday, contract's not ready. I go in Thursday, contract's not ready. I go in Friday, contract's not ready. So I ring him up and I say, Harry, I've been in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. He said, leave it with me. So the next week he says it's going to be ready Tuesday, Wednesday. This is pre-season. Mm -hmm. So I go, in the, I go in the Tuesday, no contract. Go in the Wednesday, no contract. Go in the Thursday, Graham, no contract. I thought, do you know what? So I said, Harry, look, there's no contract, something's up. We're supposed to be going to um, pre-season tour at the weekend. On the, we're training at the ground on the Friday. And this is where things start to get funny. We're training at the stadium, so at the city ground. Mm. Train, we, we finished the session. All of a sudden, we could hear this chanting going on from the car park at the city ground. Next minute, in the corner is where an ambulance would come. It's like a gap between the Trent end stand. There's about 50 Trabs on fans. I've come round the corner. <laughs> I don't know who they are, <laughs> and they're, they're singing and chanting. I don't know, because I've not even been told anything about Trabzon. <laughs> but that was the first time I've even seen a Trabzon scarf. Yeah, out of here. This is the truth. So we're all there warming down and stretching and stuff. And like, oh, have they got a game against Notts County? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So go in, shower, and I come out. And they were wanting to take pictures with me. So I'm thinking it's all the players, they're taking pictures with yeah, me, the yeah. players. Little do I know, I get home, the phone rings. And I'm told that the club have accepted a bid from Trabzon Sport for me. You're not getting a new contract and it's in your best interest to take it. So there's me, back in the Premier League, I'm thinking, fantastic. All of a sudden, the club have accepted, because it's new owners. Irving Scholar was one of, the, yes. one of the main guys. Obviously, a deal had been done. I'm at the point of my career now where I'm thinking, let me see. Why not? Let me, let me see what's going on. Never been abroad. May never get the chance to play abroad. Yeah, it's Turkey. But if you don't go, you're not going to find out. Brilliant. Why not? Brilliant. I'm, a, I'm a boy from Brixton. I'm, you know, it, I can make it out of Brixton, Graham. I can make it anywhere. Trust me. That's my thought process. So, speak to my agent and... This was Stretford at the time? Stret, Paul Stretford at the time. And there was, a, there was some red tape to get through. So, I was, I was, I was in London at the um, airport hotel for a couple of days. So, we get to the airport... Just as I'm getting on the plane, my phone rings. It's Pierre Van Oudonk. <laughs> tell, me, tell me it's not true. Tell me it's not true. So I'm saying, Pierre, what are you talking about? So he says, the, the, the club of soldier. I says, no, I'm going for talks now. I'll speak to you when I reach Turkey. So I'll get on the plane, go over. <laughs> I get off the plane and I call him. So I said, Pierre, what's going on? So he said, if, if they sell you, Kev, I'm not going back. Because me and Pierre were the highest goal scoring partnership you'd, in you'd, Europe. You'd knocked in in one season over 50 goals well, together. Well, 60 odd goals. Yeah, yeah. So Pierre says he's not going back. So I laughed. I said, Pierre, come on, don't be silly. You go back. And I know you're on a break because you're in international duty. But I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what's, 
what's going on over here because why not so get through the airport and as we're on our way out there's 10,000 Trabzon fans at Istanbul airport it's not even Trabzon no nope. and I'm taken aback I'm like what? who are they here they're, say, they're saying for you and that you the adulation is crazy I've not kicked a ball for the football club but it's the passion of the fans. The fan base was incredible. So I was like, wow. So we go and meet the Bashkan, remember Ali Yilmaz and, and the people, and we get talking. And we're talking football, etc. And I said to the chairman, you know, I want to see Trabzon. And they said, no, you know, want to sign the contract now. I says, no, 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 no. I want to see Trabzon. I want to see Trabzon. I want to know where I'm going to be playing my football. So, you know, they're deliberating and he says, um, okay, you and your, your, your people can go and see Trabzon. I says, Bashan, don't worry. Let me go and see. Trabzon is a working class town on the Black Sea. It's not Istanbul, but it's a beautiful city. And we flew into Trabzon. And there was 15,000 fans at this small airport and they were out the cars and the, the banners that me, my picture in, in Trabzon kits already. It, was, it really was like crazy. So I'll get, get to the training ground, to have a look around the training ground. And that's what done it, Graham. When I looked at the training ground, the training ground put England to shame. Really? And I was thinking, you know, it's Turkey. I, you know, I might have to rough it a little bit. It was, it was better than what I saw in England. Facilities. Facility-wise, it was better. Mm -hmm. You had your own bedrooms at that, the training ground, etc., etc. Lovely pitches. Everything was meticulous. I thought I could have some of this. I could have some of this. So went saw the stadium, etc. Stadium was a, a weren't the greatest. Thirty thousand seat stadium, etc. Hey, listen. A ground's a ground. Training ground is where it really happens. Yes. See the Black Sea, beautiful sea, seaside town. Thought, right, I could have some of this. So we flew back, got back, and I went into the meeting with the, with the chairman with a straight face, you know, <laughs> like I wasn't happy. And you could see him, he was like, uh-oh, uh-oh. You know, we've seen Trabs on and he doesn't like it. And then I smiled and I put my hand across the table and he was over the moon and I signed a contract, etc. Went back to Trabzon the next day, met the players and that was the start of my uh, Trabzon sport journey.